all my records like this. And huh? afterwards, I just lie on this record. Like this, oh man. It's fucking nice, especially when it's hot because they're cold. And the vinyl is cold, but the, the thing they're carrying on it, it's something really warm. So you, you get to have both feelings when you lie on them. Fucking lovely, like having sex with records. <laughs> and eating your records. <laughs> the feeling when you have, I don't know, 5,000 people in front of you is a really good feeling. I mean, when you see that what you're doing is making those people having a good time, it's something that makes you feel really cool, really nice. We didn't choose to be bo born in this kind of a world. Uh, we came in it and the women saw it and it was not nice, that, uh, the things that we saw. Here people like football, I have all here all these names and uh, we are really good, good friends. Because we live together and maybe we can die together. We play football and sniper shots and we all go to corner to wait stopping sniper shooting. And then stopping we again playing football. Tekken was, was the music that was uh, really Maybe that was the only only type of music that was quite similar to this this type of, of living, you know, under this this situation that was that was around us and everything. That I think techno was something that was underground, and it was maybe the best way to express what you feel. The first thing that we did was graffitis on the street uh, of the name of our band. So we found it, this this um, thing in newspapers and it said like, something like this. A lot of new graffitis uh, came to, uh, and I saw a lot of new graffitis in Zagreb. But personally I'm interested in Shizuid Wicklers. A cool gra a graffiti, probably a name of some band. They are... Um, like um, very tough or maybe uh, they like uh, the girls are tough you know something like that and uh, he said that she's at Wicklis reminds him of uh, the beginning of graffiti so it was very cool because we were like oh really somebody was like very noticing this because we did a lot of them on the streets, on the, the, the nice street, uh, the nice um, walls and um, nice, you know, uh, we choose like pink or yellow buildings, just the nicest picture and we just made it like the she's a big like, like everybody can see from the tram and from the car, you know, so. You know, you know the cartoon with, with Bugs Bunny and that big rabbit? Yeah. Oh, that's my situation, man. Kiss me, darling. Let's go, let's go. 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 Što? Šta, pa nije... Ko, a brate, nema ovu drugu da vodiš, brate, molim. Ej, izvini, nema veze, pusti se jebi. Što vodit će se drugu, a? Nebitno, razlušao, šta sad? Bitno je, brate, ja nemam šanse da, ono, brate, ti liječi pogodim. Dobro, volim. A nema da je vodiš? Nemoš. Nema, molim se da je vodiš. Ti šta? Ne. Puma. Ja, puma, ali ti. She plays water polo. Goalkeeper.
And I would like to see her in swimming pool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking in love, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> his hair, he's all messy. <laughs> this is a typical Serb after the party. Typical Serb. That's the way it goes yeah. in Serbia. Or like. No, Falling in love party. in three hours missing. <laughs> Took us six weeks. Uh, if she if she can uh, picture this house, um, uh, they shoot snipers in tram. That's, that's, that's people uh, say, that's like a uh, public war, that's like uh, some imagination, some dreams. When first time after the war go, that's end of the war. And you also, you have to go in tram with the snipers around you. Yes, because it's better go with tram or go with bullets. Did you ever see snipers? Yeah. I, it's been normal in war when you see how snipers shoot the people. Were you never afraid? I told you in war, uh, uh, everything strange. It must be normal because when you go to to sleep night, you don't know if you uh, stand up tomorrow alive or you don't be alive. Why was it important to you to start this first girls' band in Croatia? Ah, because I just uh, wanted to have a girl band because I was uh, always going on shows and uh, dancing and singing on boys, uh, you know, band. I always wanted to. Oh, why another girl want? You know, why there are no girls' band? Um, so I just call my friends and tell them I want to have a girl band. Come on girls, let's start it. Uh, we will show that uh, girls also can be on the stage uh, and have fun and say something that, that we have, we can say something. So we started because um, on, in early punk days in, in, in my life when I went to some concerts, uh, you can see only girls is in the first row to dancing and nothing else. We were only doing this and nothing else. So we were like, okay, we can do uh, something else. We can go on the stage and, you know, um, you know, uh, sing to boys, you know, because always boys sing to girls. And why can't girls sing to boys? So we started that. Nobody understands us. So in the beginning, yeah, the te texts were very funny, and on the end, we had very um, activist, you know, um, um, texts like very, um, be, uh, very texts which are saying something and which have some meaning. It tells "Be yours," and it means that. You don't have to be whatever somebody else, you know? No means no. You have to uh, the right to refuse. And Luna is this um, uh, anarcho feminist group that I was in on the beginnings. And uh, we had this idea that uh, through the walls you can say a lot to people. I refuse to be leaded. I don't want nobody to uh, lead me. And uh, you see, it's a little words, but their their meanings is so big, you know. And uh, we work now in this rest part of building and it's one of the biggest papers here yeah what are you doing here I'm uh, I work like photo reporter I'm uh, I'm uh, work two months here 
I'm I'm living alone since I was I was seventeen or eighteen. That's Marco and me. We were the first to to break the ice and to live alone. We used to live together in a flat that was underground, and it was really cool because it was like, like some kind of a club. This is my favorite cup, but it's broken. I'm really sorry to, to have it broken, but it's really cool. This cup has been in every of my apartments where I used to live, and I've changed six of them. And this is the only cup that survived all six apartments. So now they. You got to develop a film. Dark must be your ocean. And this goes. I can show the photo of it for you. Where we develop and film, like you see, this uh, old stuff. The, here is very interesting. You can come here. This is one part. But destroying war. This used to be part of the also the Danish newspaper. Yes, this be uh, before war is be office of uh, technical stuff. You can see technical redaktia uradik. And was any journalist killed when this happened? Yes. Here's the victims. Journalist. about uh, maybe ten, ten, 10 young people, friends of mine in war die from my street. That's just two, three, four building. And just young people, my friends who, like 10 people die. Somebody from sniper, somebody from grenades, somebody um, in a line in war. There so many situations how you can die, maybe from detonation. I know one guy who, who, who died from detonation. Just the uh, heart is... Brave, is... That must be so, so horrible. Yeah, there's been like horror, horror movie where you actor in that movie and you, I don't know, you actor, 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 acting to finish the movie. And all that war was being one crazy, one crazy situation. Nobody win, nobody lose. Everybody lose, nobody win. So many people die. Not just here in Sarajevo. On, in all Bosnia, in all, and from Serbia, from Croatia, from all ex Yugoslavia.
in war everybody must be angry and that serves Serbs nation, all Serbs nations, Serbian country, Yugoslavia and all that. Me too, I'm, you, you must be in war angry and your enemy. You hate your enemy because you the, the, that enemy want to kill you, kill your family, destroy your house. And But now after five, six years, situation is, I don't know, slowly go to normal line. I'm too subjective, I guess it is. All right, uh, 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 bad side. Well, she's uh, very hasty. Uh, lots of times, she she's always. Uh, all, most of the time, she she doesn't. When situation appears, she doesn't think with her head. She goes either with heart or with intuition, and she just goes inside. Boom! It's the best and the worst thing with her at the same time. No. Anything else? I can eat, thank you very much. We are at the house in the village, at my boyfriend's place. And it's near Zagreb, um, like about 45 minutes near Zagreb. But as you see, it's very natural and um, not touchable, you know, nature. quite young. At that time I was still in primary school and I, I remember that it was everything was about the crisis, the crisis is going, is going to begin and everything like that. So we were, everybody was expecting for the crisis but there was a lot of money in stash so everybody had money. So we had a really nice time. It was like we were quite isolated but I was quite young so I didn't want to go anywhere. I really liked it here in Serbia and I was with my friends every day having a nice time. It was okay for me. I think the worst thing was five years later because that's when the crisis started, the real crisis. 95, 96? Or... Oh, yeah, yeah. There was no money and everything was in quite misery and everybody was like wanting to have something that they can't have and it was really disgusting and criminal was rising. Like the small criminal, like those people who, who, who overcome at the street and they ask you for money or anything you've got. That was the real crisis. But it was also okay for me. At that time I got a little bit older so I could defend myself easily. I was not afraid and I had a really good time. I was going to parties every, every night or every second night having a really good time. It was not so serious because I was children, so everything was really like a joke. Like we liked to go when the siren was like ring, ring, ring. We were just like yeah. We go to the you know uh, underground, and it will be cool because uh, we don't have to be in the school. You know, we are just uh, going to have uh, you know fun there. So it was really like a joke. But um, I. I felt it serious when my dad comes from the war and when I s saw him 
so worried and so strange, like the strange person was coming in my home, then I realized that war was something completely different than I thought of it was, you know. And after that, because I realized it, someone very close to me was a, suddenly a strange person, and I was like, you know, just getting, it was like getting in my head that this was serious, you know, that something really happened. We were in this in this pub and we were drinking beer and it was really okay. We were like celebrating I don't know what. And when that's the moment when the Sagreens started and we just like started to run away and then afterwards we really realized that nothing is going to happen. So, what did you think? Well we thought it was a disaster because it was the, the, the first word about war was the bombing, but they didn't say what kind of bombing so we were like really terrified to know that something is going to happen like it was during the First World War or the Second World War, I don't know. So, but in, in a couple of days it was, it was okay, we re realized what was it about, so bombing or not bombing, it was the same for us. I don't know, am I proud to be a Serb, but I am proud to, I am proud to be myself because I managed to do a lot of things, although I'm 22, so I think that's the point, that's the thing that needs to, to, to have a respect and that's yourself, and if, if you respect yourself, then maybe you are proud to be a Serb or <laughs> yourself or them, or I don't know, they great citizen, peace. Now, after the war, what does your everyday life look like today? Most of young people's everyday life is to go to town to drink coffee, go around, drink coffee, go around, drink coffee, go home to eat and come back to town to drink coffee. I would like to buy a rose. This is a nice rose. It smells nice. It's nice. It tastes nice. Okay. And now I'm going to surprise somebody. I like Bosnia. I really like Bosnia. I love my country. I'm Bosnian, I'm from Sarajevo. My people, everything. But here's people just like go in one, in one way. Nobody can see another to how we can uh, learn something more, something else from another culture, from another people. People here don't like uh, don't like Serbia and Croatia like country. I tell everybody have somebody in Croatia or Serbia. And I can say I don't want to play football with you because I'm you Croatian and uh, I can play football without him because I need one player more and I need him and that is in life. You need people for for life, if you want to have, you can say, fine life. Most of my friends don't want to go to somewhere because you don't know language, you don't know people, you are here born, you are here. I don't like that, I want to go, I want to see everybody, everything, everyone, what's 
what's happened here in this world. Why not? You can learn everything. What do you want? If you want, of course. This is what I usually do when I come home. I just throw this away. Turn on the lights. Turn on my turntables. Check out my records. And take a seat. Enjoy. When I was younger, I I didn't, you know, uh, you are young, so you are not having friends from everywhere because you don't travel a lot in these spaces, you know. And after the war, when I met a lot of people from Slovenia and uh, uh, Bosnia and Serbia, and the connection was just like it because they were also young people and they also, you know. Um, had this thing going like war, so they had uh, thinking uh, thoughts like me, but they didn't look it like, oh, my country is against that country. I didn't look it like that. I look it like, oh, the man, like the people, is against people, not uh, you know one kind of people or that kind of people. Just people, you know, like human beings are against human beings. I was like very shocked about that, and a lot of young people thought like me so when I talked with people after the war I was like really oh we are at the same level you know yeah we think very much alike you know we don't want war we don't want people to fight it's not important who are they people just people human race you know because we are all the same we just have other names and other you know names <laughs> 